My name's Wolfgang Miles, and you're watching Cooking with Chaos! What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Wolfgang Miles back with another episode of Cooking with Chaos. I'm here with my buddy Aaron, as always. What's up? We're at Warren's house. That's right, on the west side of Fort Worth. And uh, we're gonna go check out and see what he's got, man. Check it out. What's going on? What's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, dude. What's up, man? Jay, hey, what's, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Good, man. 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 Good, Check them shorts out, dude. Yeah! Right VH all the way, man. Hell yeah, <laughs> So, um, it's a big mashed up stuff of white trash food with Mexican thrown in. Um, my, well, my mom always used to cook it called uh, scrambled enchiladas. So, she used to do them with chicken all the time. We had that, but I like it with beef better. So, we got your chuck right there, then you got your jalapenos, your fajita seasoning, and some Tabasco chipotle, crushed peppers. You got to put a little. Uh, Olive oil on the bottom of the pan to keep the tortillas from sticking. Um, we're going to use uh, corn tortillas this time. We have to do it with flour sometimes, but I think corn tortillas are the best or the easiest. Um, fresh tomatoes, we got uh, onions, jalapenos, and some bell peppers, and black beans. And then I'm going to do a queso over here. Mini Paul gave this to me. And uh, he already gave me two crock pots, just regular, you know, big crock pots. And I was like, when I opened it, it was like Christmas, and I go, oh, crock pots. He goes, Garza, you can never have enough crock pots. <laughs> and he's right. He's right. And he's right. True. He's absolutely yeah. right. <laughs> what you got there, Warren? So first things first, always in a southern household, you got to have sweet tea. So I'm picking up some sweet tea right now. And yeah, man, I love sweet tea. The, the main ingredient in sweet tea is sugar. Yes, sir. <laughs> you gotta have a lot of sugar. Yes, sir. There he is. Hey. Right. So first thing we'll get this queso going because it will take a little while for it to melt. So we're just gonna do a little. Go, go, go. The generic <laughs> you know, I mean, Whatever it's, works, man. It's the same as processed cheese. Come on. That's it, man. Hey, it's government cheese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm just going to use this whole block. And what I usually do is just chop it little, you know, little cubes. Yeah. Yeah. Melts it quickly that right? Heck yeah, man. And then you're gonna throw it over here in the Vinnie Paul crock pots, man. That's cool, the man. Triple crock pot. That's what's even better, cause you know, like you have a big party over or whatever. I can do queso on one. I can do uh, beans you know, or whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. That's awesome, dude. 
Exactly. That's what he was all about. Right? <laughs> Everything was <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm I've seen on. something in here. What? What? What's that? This looks like a like a like a blood worm yeah. uh, scooper. What is that? It's a, it's a shredder. Like you make pork, 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 pork. pork. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. I thought it was your Afro coat. <laughs> <laughs> it works. I mean, yeah. It yeah. picks. So that's what I usually put two in. Hotels. Such a setup, yeah. I guess. It is. Yep. Yeah. Look here. And turn that puppy on. Hey, Jake, can I see your asses? <laughs> 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 We're getting old, ain't we? Right. Shoot. Let's see. Oh, how do you do that? Chaos. There we go. Right. Bye, folks. First, we'll start with the chuck and just. Chop that bad boy open, and then uh, go right over here to the frying pan. And we're gonna put it all in there. Texas size. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And then we'll chop up some vegetables and stick them in there. Got this over here in the uh, meat. Oh, dude, I love meat and onions cooking oh, together. Yeah, dude, it's such the best smell. Dude, 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 yes. Yeah, dude. yes. <laughs> so you gotta get it piping hot. Yeah, we, um, what, I'm, what I do is I just cook it all the way through, mm -hmm. and then I build it after that. I mean, not that way. Pretty much, the cheese just has to melt in there. Sweet. So it takes you know, 20, 30 minutes, 45 minutes for it all to be done once I stick it in the oven. Cool, man. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to rocking. Right. This, my mom got this, $17 worth of cheese. I've never <laughs> seen do that. Look at that, that's bigger than my belly. <laughs> hey, hey, man, you got the cheese? Yeah. <laughs> get the sack of cheese? Yeah, shredded. <laughs> Dude, so you guys can smell the aroma. Mm, man, smell a vision. Oh yeah, yeah they, they need to make it. They need to invent it. Right. <laughs> They'd be millionaires. That would be fantastic. Well, I don't know. Some stuff you don't want to smell. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the places you've been, Wolf. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you damn right, bro. What you got there, man? Crushed. Crushed red pepper. Yeah. All Just right. Whatever kind. Again, generic if you get it. So I don't usually buy the name brand unless you don't have to, man. Right. Yeah, I mean if it's the same thing right there. So then, um, you know, pep dude, you gotta have crack. You gotta crack it, man. Yeah. Gotta crack the pepper. Definitely. There we go. use a little bit of everything red. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll have to try that. Now, so have you ever tried Aaron's uh, steak, and steak and chop? No. Dude, you got to check it out. Aaron has a special. I got a couple of spices, <laughs> man, you got to check out. So yeah. I've got the steak and chop that goes on everything. I got a Mexi Magic that goes on everything. I am uh, dropping two new ones. The one that's going to drop at Vulgar Fest is going to be the lemon drop, and it's like a lemon pepper season. <laughs> and then I, oh, freaking, freaking it's, No, amazing. it's okay, it's okay, we'll beep it out. <laughs> anyway, and then I have one called Sugar Fire coming out. It's hot and sweet, and it goes on all your beef and pork, and it's, man. Right on. All the seasonings. It's Woo. coming. Woo. <laughs> uh, Woo. Oh, God. Woo. Oh, God. Oh, Woo. God. Uh, Japs. Oh, man. Some Japs right there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Pickled, pickled. I usually get the kind in, um, the nacho kind, bro. Yeah, but I usually get it in the jar because I can just reseal it. I go, no, I gotta use Tupperware. So we pour all that in. Oh, you pour the juice in there. Yeah. Dude, you're getting chaotic. Yeah, it, it, it won't be hot once it, it all cooks out. Yeah, no, that's the flavor. Oh, yeah. 
I do believe that I see somebody from uh, Andrea that's going to Florida. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, look what we got here, dude. What do you got, bro? What do you got? Oh, he brought ice. No, this one's a mortar. Fantastic. What's up, brother? Tell me. Stir it up. Stir it up. Dude. 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 That's going to be good. Dude. <laughs> hey, Glenn. What's up, brother? <laughs> When'd you get here? <laughs> oh, look at that. Got here just in time. Bright eyes. Yeah. Exactly what oh, we need. Trying to get in the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's 105 out there, man. So, plan from Lone Star Conspiracy to come and hang out with us and uh, cook them with chaos yes, right sir. now. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Come How on. you doing, man? Good you ready to rock? Yeah, always. What'd you bring? He Ice brought the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, dude. Good. What you got there, Warren? You got some bush. Bush. Yeah. Like I said, you roll know, that beautiful bean got, footage. Yeah, three different things over here to cook in. So now we got beans in the second one. Man. And so, are you making a dip? No, black bean put, dip? Why don't you put some black beans in there? And okay. Throw some onions on top of them and uh, a little bit of spice. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And that'll be like the side. Nice. Well, once again, the Vinnie Paul crock pots. Yes, sir. He would be proud of me right now. <laughs> he would, man. <laughs> Indeed. So this is the first part of it right here. You put a little olive oil in. Pretty much just enough to cover it so it doesn't spread stick too bad. Again, you can use whatever kind of tortillas you want, but I, I like these these flour, I mean these corn tortillas. You just uh, I like the bigger ones because if you can, you know one that'll take up the whole pan, then you only have to use a few. But yeah, yeah. You just double layer these, you just stick them down there like you would do um, your noodles for your lasagna. So this is like a casserole, huh? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Layers of this, then layers of cheese and meat, and then, yeah, layers of goodness. Hooking us up today, bro. Like, yeah. We eating good tonight, son. So that's the bottom layer. Now, just stack it a little deeper. All right, step number two. Put the meat on the tortillas. Make sure all the meat's done. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure it's done. Yeah. It's uh it's been cooking for quite some time. All right. Let it simmer. <laughs> five pounder. Five pounder. There's no five, five pounder. pounder. That is good, it boy. Used be, it used to be eleven fifty. <laughs> right. Yeah, it sure did. And we just take the spring cut generously along there. Oh, more yeah. cheese, more cheese, more cheese. Can't never have enough cheese. What you know about my Guatemala and my cheese? Hijo, boy. Guatemala, Guatemala, my cheese, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. And then uh, in the hotel. Stirring. Yeah. Molson got that Molson Triple X. That's that's uh, Canadian moonshine right there. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's uh, seven point three. So seven point three. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, it tastes like seven point three. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, it ain't good. Yeah, well, it's just, like, like I was saying, arrogant bastard, it's like the grossest beer oh, yeah. in the world, but it'll get you raw. Yeah. It'll, it'll get you there. Halfway through, you're eating your yeah. all right, that's all right. Yeah, yeah after you one know. or two. But, I mean, if I drink three or four Bud Lights, I drink the other cup beer. What?
the truck. <laughs> we'll be steady. How you doing, brother? Good, man. How you doing? Come on. What'd you do to yourself, man? Mosh pit. Mosh pit. Yeah, a Slayer concert from 1987. <laughs> it's a, and that's the second layer. You just finish that one out, and then we pretty much do the more same more. thing. Exactly. And then you're gonna cover it with. Cover it with some more tortillas and then put some cheese on top of it. Okay, and then yeah. we're going to throw it in the oven, right? Absolutely. We well, bake about 350 for 45 minutes an hour. Well, son, I'm telling you what, he, he's using the whole five pounds of cheese. Man. Yeah, might as well. We're just you know I mean, going to go anywhere else. So. My, my duty is going to be sticky tonight. <laughs> That's some cheese now. Look. Well, where'd he go? Right there. Five pounds? Damn it, son. Damn. Five pounds of cheese, dude. If you ain't got five pounds of cheese, you ain't doing this recipe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah! You eat that, you get one of these to take you a big old bite of that, and then yeah, everything will work out. Yeah. <laughs> It'll all be good. We just stick those on top like that, just like that, and roast yep. them. There you go. Sick. Roast it, son. Up there, 350, look at that. Go in the oven, boy! Be out in about 45 minutes an hour. I'll tell you what, son. Yep. You ready, bro? Yep, all suited up, ready to go. Here we go. Oh, no, dude. Yeah, look at that melted show with the jalapenos on it. God, look at son. That. You learn from the best. Oh, son. Man. Blow it Gosh. up. Blow it up. Cooking with chaos. <laughs> D Rock would be grabbing one of those jalapenos right now, eating it. D Rock! <laughs> look at that. That one's for you, D-Rock. <laughs>